welcome to the Audi Amphitheatre. Amazing place, 360 degrees of screens with all sorts of things going on. And this is the rather fabulous Audi TT Coupe. Now, it was introduced as a design concept at the German Motor Show in 1995. It's now a production model about to be launched and the original concept is still intact, which is very unusual. Now, I would love to test drive this car. Unfortunately, Chris Goffey beat me to it. It's often said that the motor industry is becoming more and more international. Well, just to underline that point, here we are in the fantastic surroundings of the Italian Apennine Mountains to test drive a new German car that's built in Hungary and it's going to be launched in the UK next year. Confused? Well, have patience, children. All will soon be revealed. Because this is the Audi TT Coupe, first shown at the 1995 Frankfurt Show as a design exercise, and then in Tokyo in 1996. Such was the reception of the car by press and public that Audi decided to put it into production. Of course, the name of the Audi TT game is aerodynamics. This is one of the most aggressively, sleekly styled cars ever to come out of the Audi factory. But despite the dramatic shape, the underpinnings are relatively mundane because this shares engine, transmission and floor pan with the Audi A3, the new Volkswagen Golf and the upcoming Volkswagen Beetle. And that's why the Audi engineers could get it into production in just two years. Oh, and built in Hungary, well, the bodies are assembled and painted at the Audi plant at Ingolstadt. They're put on a train and sent to Hungary where the engine plant is. The engine's put in, the car's assembled, it's put back on the train and sent back to Ingolstadt again. You understand it? Somebody does. Um, out here in Italy, blazing up and down the Italian roads, um, the Germans are showing us cars here and they've, they've shown us a two-wheel drive. You've decided not to take that in the UK. Why not? That's right, because we felt this was such a statement for Audi um, that we wanted to combine the, the heart of Audi, which is Quattro. When you say to people Audi, almost the next word is Quattro. And so we felt this ultimate car, this ultimate coupe for us, um, was going to be a Quattro. And, uh, and our customers who we've researched into this absolutely agree with us. So the TT will only be a Quattro car. Our Audi customers are, are, are old buffers. Uh, I mean, they're all in their 50s and 60s. They won't go for something like this, surely. Oh, that's a very old view, Chris, of the, uh, of the uh, customer makeup. Our customer profile has changed quite dramatically over the, uh, the last few years. We've seen our sales go from 19,000 a year up to what will be 40,000 this year. So we're attracting a much, much younger view of that, uh, that profile, that customer, and, and our new customer profile. Um, will be very, very attracted to this. And I actually think some of what you uh, disparagingly called old buffers, Chris, will also be very interested in it. Well, we're the ones with the money, you see, that's <laughs> what it is. Inside, the car is as obviously styled as the exterior. This dimpled aluminium trim theme is repeated everywhere. Door handles, steering wheel, air outlets, gear stick, and gear stick surround, even the pedals are mock-ups of racing car competition design. The leading edge of the screen gives a very low-browed feel to the car and at some city centre traffic lights I know you're going to have to be leaning forward and peering up to see the red. However, the test for a car that simply shouts its sporting aspirations so loudly is does it go? In the case of the TT, well, need you ask. This car has the 180 brake horsepower turbo 1.8 five-cylinder engine well proven but refined and developed for this installation. Four-wheel drive quattro transmission of course as you'd expect for an Audi. The maximum of 140 miles an hour and 0 to 60 around seven and a half seconds. That's not quick enough for you. Well there's a 225 brake horsepower version of the same engine, 150 mile an hour top speed and a second quicker to 60. 
The Audi TT goes on sale in the UK in spring 1999 and it's joined later in the year by the drophead Roadster version. Prices not fixed yet but they anticipate around £25,000 for the 180 brake horsepower and 30,000 for the 225 brake horsepower version. But don't run away with the idea that you can have one of these as your company car if you think you like it because Audi have closed the waiting list in the UK for the TT. They've taken a thousand pounds each off a thousand customers and by my reckoner that makes a million quid in the bank and they haven't even sold one yet. Not bad going. I don't think they'll have any trouble at all in getting rid of the first thousand cars that'll come in in 1999 and the 2000 cars that'll come in in the year 2000. Queue up now.